so far on my journey, total freedom has been a little hard to find. The Free State Project has a long way to go. My freedom ends at your nose. The mud park was a blast, but that's freedom that only lasts for a week. And I don't own a pink lock. I want to find a place where freedom is alive and well every day of the week. So I'm headed to the town where almost everything is legal. Prostitution is legal in Las Vegas, right? Right. Wrong. What? Oh, you, you thought it was Vegas? For true freedom, you've got to drive 45 minutes away from Sin City to the Freedom Oasis of Pahrump, Nevada. Discover. Enjoy. Pahrump. OK. I want to discover and enjoy Pahrump. This is the only place in America where you can legally do all these things in one location. Buy fireworks, open carry, keep exotic pets, Boom. gamble, smoke as you gamble, and then finish your day in a totally legal, government-approved brothel. But a town with this much freedom needs a protector. A hero to repel any and all assaults on liberty. In Perón, that hero is Ray Milzyski. Hi, I'm the flag man. Good morning, everybody. Little car, how you doing? Drunk driver, nice to see you. Hey, Sheriff, how you doing? Every day, the flag man walks the streets of Perón in the name of liberty, holding the stars and stripes high and handing out the Bill of Rights to anyone who needs a freedom refresher course. Biker, 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 how you doing? Old time car, hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey. This hey, is fun, gotta, I get it. You, you gotta watch for them waving, you know? Okay. Hey. How you doing, truck driver? Nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, even the dogs are barking at us. They get this, it. Man. They get it. Yeah, they get it. What is your definition of freedom? The right to be left alone is indeed the basis for all our freedoms. The right to be left alone. Why don't they leave us alone? They do not leave us alone. They impose more and more. So that's what I'm all about. I'm letting people know that we got to stand up. I believe that there's so many laws that restrict us, it's ridiculous. And they're piling more and more laws on. What makes Perump the bastion of freedom that it is? Well, people that come out here realize that they've got more advantages. There's very few restrictions compared to the big city. That's why I'm in Perump. So why is Perump such a good place to be left alone? Here's one answer. Perump is in Nye County, Nevada which is the third largest county in the United States. It has more land than Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Delaware, and New Jersey combined. That gives it a population density of just two people per square mile, which means no nosy neighbors to bother you and a lot more freedom to do what you want. Here we go, fireworks, guns. Oh, there's the bell bonds. What do you get arrested for in the run? I'm sure I don't need to tell you what the good people of Pahrump are doing with all this freedom. Naturally, they're amassing large collections of lions and tigers. I don't think there's like a homeowners association here either. If you wanted to be free, just come out where no one cares if you're out here. Well, we're doing it. On their 10-acre compound outside of town, Scott Shoemaker and Susanna Kukul have a menagerie of big cats that would make Mike Tyson jealous. Don't you guys feel like we could be eaten at any time now? Hi, I'm Billy. Hi, I'm Susanna. Susanna. And Scott. Scott. How many animals do you have? Now we have uh, four tigers, two African lions, two cougars, bobcat, serval, ocelot. They are family. They're non human family. Okay, Billy. This Hi. is Princess. Hi, Princess. We figured we'd let you see the other animals with her. Okay. Billy, you're awfully far back there. I'm just, you know, taking it all in. <laughs> so you get all the research, and Pahrump was the place to come. Actually, I started in Washington State and started getting exotic cats, but I hated the weather, so I moved here and just got more cats. And the other thing, I couldn't have machine gun in Washington State. I can have a machine gun here. Yeah. So it wasn't just animals. It was oh, other you just, freedom. You needed a machine gun and a big I don't cat. need a machine I gun. I, I want a machine gun. I get <laughs> People don't see the big picture. Instead of concentrating what is banned, like I don't want a lion, I don't care, they should concentrate. It's another freedom that's being banned. 20 U.S. states have an outright ban on owning cats, and many other states require a special license. But because of its looser laws, Pahrump is home to at least five big cat owners. 
Certain animal rights groups oppose private ownership of exotic species, and some have tried to stop Scott and Susanna. They try and quote, oh, there's, you know, 23 deaths in the last 20 years. Okay, but at the same time, you gotta look, who's getting injured? The owners and handlers. Yeah. That's kind of like skydiving. Who, who's getting injured? The people jumping out of the planes. You're taking away freedom of choice. There's Bam Bam, he's the mama's boy. Whoa. And he'll do a, what's called a Fleming face. Yeah, he's processing he's like, the smell. Yeah, he has big teeth. <laughs> Where did you get him? He was born in Wisconsin, he's American. Come here, Bam Bam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why, you know, all these people go, well, you should, you know, send him back where you got him from, you know, thinking, all right, we took him out of the wild in Africa. No, he came from Wisconsin, and I don't think the people there want him back. No. <laughs> yeah. He's just a like big dog. Sure, they're like big dogs, with humongous fangs and a taste for raw meat. And it's still a little semi-frozen. Come on, Elvis. Here you go, boy. I'm gonna let you do that. <laughs> I am all for trying various freedom-related activities, but I think I'll try to feed something a little smaller. Here we have Quaddies, is like a South American raccoon. Can I hold it? Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I panic every time. You're a f I am kind of a f Oh, I'm sorry. Your teeth are scary. Yo, Dolphin is not gonna bite you. You're a f I told you I'm a this reminds me of every farm I've ever been. <laughs> oh! Oh! It was a wolf. It was a wolf. Oh, here comes the liger. They're real, by the way. It's a real thing. For some reason, I'm not scared of the liger. I think it's because if I had to, me and that liger could get in a fist fight. Hi. Hi. Just keep firm grip. Okay. okay. Come here. Is that rolling? Because I want proof that I'm walking up half lion, half tiger. I think he's walking me, but we're cool. It's a girl. It's a girl. Sorry. Should these people have the right to keep this many exotic pets out in the desert? I don't know, but they definitely think so. <laughs> so is this freedom? It is if you enjoy feeding raw meat to top predators every day and then picking up their poop. Not to mention wondering if the day is ever going to arrive when you become the most delicious looking thing in the room. I'm not waiting around to find out. Man, freedom can be a lot of work. It makes me wonder, is Pahrump as free as its reputation? In your opinion, is this the freest place in America? I would say yes. As long as you're not impinging on your neighbor, anything goes. It's the new Old West. And everybody knows you can't have an Old West town without a place to relax and hang up your gun belt and your shirt and your pants. I'll tell you how I'm feeling right now. Uh, welcome. I feel welcome. I don't feel grossed out. This doesn't feel slimy. Located on the outskirts of town, Cherry's Ranch is one of only 20 legal brothels in America. I'm a fan of any organization that rewards performance. Hello. Hey, I'm Destiny. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Why don't I show you a list of our services? OK, that's a good idea. So all the girls are independent contractors, and they get to pick and choose the services they offer. This is our most popular asked for parties. And this isn't a complete list. Most of us have our own menus. Fantastic. <laughs> so welcome to our playland. Come right on in here. Like Destiny said, the freedom of choice does not end with that menu. So this is our human slip and slide, and it's very erotic. Sherry says pretty much any fantasy you can think of. So where are we going? To our bubble bath suite. Yeah, and some you haven't. And this is our naughty sex suite. This would look amazing on my front porch. There's some fun to be had there. Brothels have been around since the founding of America, but weren't made legal until 1971. Today, 11 counties in Nevada have legalized prostitution, and Nevada is the only state with the freedom to legally visit a woman of the night. This is a fantasy I don't really have because my mom and dad are school teachers. If prostitution isn't your thing, there are lots of other ways to get a bang for your buck in Perum. So we are headed to buy fireworks. I grew up in Tennessee and didn't realize that most places you just can't buy fireworks and they're illegal. 
because I don't know if you've ever blown anything up or just lit something and something pretty shot out. But it's uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm just going to blow a bunch of stuff up in the most beautiful way possible to celebrate uh, being in Pahrump and how much freedom there is here. Hello, I'm here to buy some fireworks. You want to buy fireworks? I want to buy all the fireworks. You came to the right store. OK. All if right. you want all of them, you're going to need a couple shopping carts. A couple? OK. A couple. We'll uh, start with the big stuff. This is kind of appropriate. Vegas trip. Definitely take that one. Oh, so, bamboozle. I'm going to grab this old iron sides for you. OK. Grab this big top. How about gunslinger, Doug? Neon bang. Sounds like a fun time at a rave. All right, let's buy some fireworks. All right, step right up. I just need you to fill out this fireworks purchaser's form, all right? Uh, so this basically says that you're going to take them out of Nye County within 24 hours, and you're not going to light them off while you're here. I can't set it off? Uh, that's right. And so but doesn't it seem backwards that you can buy it, but you can't use it? It, it? it does. Huh. I was all pumped about the freedom stuff, and then they got me at the end. Yeah. As, as fireworks shop owners, we have the ability to to do it for you as sort of like a fireworks test. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you guys can shoot some off for me. Uh, that's right. Cool. Let's go blow some stuff up. Let's guys. go do it. All right. Sounds Let's good. Let's wake up, Perot. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fire in the hole! Here we go. Did it. Ligers, brothels, guns, and fireworks. It's like the laws in Perot were written by 15-year-old boys. I mean, if that doesn't make you happy, you're just a bad person. But not being allowed to shoot off the fireworks is a pretty big freedom setback. 